I got a, I got a DM notification about this. Uh, little, uh, little gnome character. That's, we, we know, recognize this guy. The Xanderhal stuff made it here. This stream, 11 hours old, has 132,000 views. Now, they didn't cover Xanderhal for a reason that's funny. But as far as, like, Xanderhal's reputation being destroyed, if anybody thought that this was over, oh. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know. Like, was it Xanderhal thing? And then also President Sunday got his account banned. Is that related to oh, Xanderhal? Oh, Rip thing? Bozo, President Sunday banned on Twitter. A tragedy that he's not banned on YouTube as well. But yes, goodbye, President Sunday. Eat shit, you disgusting, creepy, pedophile, fuck loser. <laughs> oh. All this because one guy misclicked. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Let's listen to that one more time. Let's listen to that one more time. For what? I don't know. Like, was it Xander Hall thing? And then also President Sunday got his account banned. Is that related to oh, Xander Rip Hall? Oh, Rip Bozo. Thing? President Sunday banned on Twitter. A tragedy that he's not banned on YouTube as well. But yes, goodbye, President Sunday. Eat shit, you disgusting, creepy, pedophile, fuck loser. Now, this gets better, but I do want to remark... It is fortunate, in my case, that of the two of us, despite him having a very large audience, I am not the one who has a history of abusing mentally ill women or of uh, colorfully true Vosh fashion uh, posting that he wants to bend a 10-year-old over their little tykes. Um... I cannot do anything to this person, in all likelihood. <laughs> there is nothing I can do. This is said to over 10,000 people concurrently. This is just a flat-out lie. I mean, it's par for the course. Actually, if you can believe it, one of the less egregious lies he's told in the last year. Um, he uh, would jump to the defense of a cookie ban that didn't even happen, uh, just because he wanted to win an argument at the expense of Palestinian children getting starved to death. Um, it's so on and so forth. Like, a uh, little little greasy hobbit meth head skeletor over here has a long history of telling untruths from the petty to the absolutely monstrous going down from uh something a, a, a silly silly little con like uh hey uh hey guys nfts are a scam actually wait wait buy nfts guys i've been i've been shown the light you should you should really look into this to um to shit like this I'm sending it to you, Brooks, because I'm going to load it from there. My apologies. So y'all heard of the, uh, the, the, the mobs that were protesting the prosecution of the Israeli, the IDF members or guards, I can't quite remember. I think it, was, it would be guards who were uh, being charged with sexually assaulting Palestinian prisoners. This is what's happening in DGG these days. It's actually unreal. Is there a ban on Israel slash Palestine content? Seems a lot of people have been getting their posts removed. There's no visibility of the recent Israeli soldier riots about their arrest and subsequent freeing, for example, which one would expect. The posts didn't seem to fall foul of the rules as far as I can tell. Or thought, Destiny's paid mod. Yes, f*** off. So by the same token, oh, by the same token, the financial in this case, uh, the financial interest and the vanity of one rich person is now taking an entire community of people that's actually pretty diverse. I riff, I rip on DGG a lot because it's full of some of the most embarrassing brain dead simps you've ever seen. But there's, I've had, I really should be fair. I've had good conversations with a lot of people there. A lot of some people who I'd probably be good friends with under different circumstances are in that in that space. But they're uh, they're being yanked around as well, and the sheer scale. The sheer scale of the man on top means that uh, if he lies, or if he's corrupt, or if the people around him are corrupt, or if he's engaging in something unethical, there is no capacity, no capacity whatsoever for these people even to be seen. And the conditions of play are conformity. So if any content creator who is in this space challenges on these grounds, here's what will happen. They will be milked, and then they will be cast out. That's it. 
less less egregious in this case simply for the reason that there is no actual project here but this is the guy this is a guy who by dint of money by dint of exposure that he's effectively able to buy and i don't just mean money in destiny's wallet i mean money in terms of the scale the scale the concentration of the audience that he acquired by posturing as a progressive and i say posturing as a progressive because the definition of a progressive is not uh you want to fuck everybody and don't don't give a shit about gender um believe it or not what a past few days you've had yeah <laughs> thank you Hegel. Hegel, appreciate it um that concentration has allowed him to be slotted in as the Juan Williams cucked leftist uh, clown to bring on and beat up for his personal profit at all our expense by larger channels. Why? Because the scale that he's at means that you can build a livelihood efficiently, quickly, by being friendly with Steven or by being someone Steven likes to hang out with. If you're someone Stephen doesn't like to hang out with, maybe you challenge him too much. Uh, you don't you don't get access to those funds, and so people have a specific vested financial interest in being palatable to Stephen. This means that people are coming in to make themselves palatable to Stephen. So it snowballs and so on and so forth. I know this is really basic, but this this comes to bear. This means that by dint of money, Stephen gets onto bigger, more mainstream platforms. And they'll call him a leftist and he will say nothing despite the fact that all of his content has been just completely going after leftists and lying about them although to be fair they've also lied about him as well vosh has also done the same thing back but here's here's the the crux of it though vosh is now simping for destiny in a subtle way subtle ways he's right da -da -da -da. just making content that's plugging this guy who is actually taking the movement he claims to be representative of, bastardizing it, and allowing it to be burned for the financial benefit of him and others, but not for the benefit of the left at all. He's going on, allowing himself and us by extension to be pilloried as as violent psychopaths who just froth at the mouth of people of people getting of our political enemies getting killed, um, who who have absolutely zero ethical standards when it comes to uh things like sex and relationships and things of that sort, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you don't have a say. And you don't have a say because of money. Because it was bought out. Because he was bought out. <laughs> and that, that's it. Um, and it's not all doom and gloom, believe it or not. Yeah, Vosh is just returning home. I mean, essentially, because if Vosh wants to move up, here's the deal. Vosh, since the tax folders incident, is now also vulnerable. Vosh can get destroyed against anybody. So what Vosh needs to do to survive, really, because Destiny goes on to uh, Pierce Morgan. Destiny is grilled about laughing at uh at a trump supporter getting shot if vosh goes on pierce morgan he could be he could be laughed at for uh being a pedophile right and they'd have receipts do you want to see the punchline to all of this this makes me laugh honestly during that stream the one where uh Destiny just called me a pedophile for no reason. I got alerted by a audience member, I guess, in, in DMs on Discord. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, seriously? Really? So his co-host, Dan, the person who brought up the Xander Hall thing, I have him in DMs, and I'm yelling at him. Like, bring me on. I wanted, I wanted a retraction or an accounting of this right now. And eventually, we worked our way to an ultimatum. Quote. So I'm saying here I want a retraction on this stream. You confirmed that he saw all these messages. I have attempted to contact the channel owner. Okay, here you go. Direct from the horse's mouth. Are you ready for a direct quotable quote of quotes? 
Quote, I'll do it. If he, I'll retract the pedophile accusation, if he does a full retraction on every weird attack he's ever made against me and Kyla and does a full retraction on the accusations he's made against her career, unquote. Which means two things. First of all, he was lying. Because if he wasn't lying, wouldn't be wouldn't be settling terms. Secondly, he tried to blackmail me with it. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my massive audience that you're a file unless you make these statements publicly. Thanks to Dan for trying, by the way. Dan is a much better person than Destiny. It should be his show. Dan's actually funny. President Sunday, if possible, could you give a short rundown on Destiny's bend to 10-year-old over comment? Uh, no. No, I'm good. I'll let that one stew. I'll let that one stew. So, imagine. Imagine if I depended on my relationship with this person for my income. Imagine if him saying that or him deciding he hated me meant that I would lose 50, 75% of my audience, maybe all of my income, just like that. Yeah, he did. He did say that. Yeah. The point is not that this is slander, although I would hope that that'd be intuitive for most of you. The point, the point is that this person had confidence. This person had confidence on the basis of his finances, purely on the basis of his finances, that he could literally directly tell me that, yeah, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll acknowledge that I just fuck slandered you in a heinous way to thousands of people. Like just, just defamed you for no reason, just because I felt like it, because I hate you, which I should feel, I should, I suppose, feel rather complimented about, frankly. I'm a little bit validated. This man has been seething. Seething. In fact, you want to know the uh, the funny part of all this? When I start talking to Dan... Wait. Let's hear... Let's hear... Say, oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bravo. That made the show. <laughs> it's okay, though. I recorded it. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a time to be alive. You know what? Despite my harsh words for Steven, I will say this. If we were stuck on a desert island together, I would never hurt him. Because the one thing I don't want to be is stuck on a desert island with HIV in my bloodstream. All right. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Let's pull, let's pull up the rest of this. We do we do a little we do a little casual we do a little casual STI shaming here because I'm tired. Do do as I say, not as I do, children. All right. I hope I uh, hope I get rid of the HUD at some point. I hope I have the foresight to do that. I guess I could just like kind of line it up a little bit like that. And there we go. That works. Why is there so much shit going on right now? By the way, also for what. I don't know, like, was it Xander Hall thing? And then also President Sunday got his account banned. Is that related to oh, the Oh, Rip Hall Bozo, thing? President Sunday banned on Twitter. A tragedy that he's not banned on YouTube Ugh. as well. But yes, goodbye, President Sunday. Eat shit, you disgusting, creepy, pedophile fuck loser. Wait, what? Um, What else do we have? Oh, we have the Xander Hall shit. Um, yeah, fuck. Do you want to save that? Pay attention, um, pay attention to how they're all of a sudden super awkward and quiet. This is because I'm talking to Dan, and Dan is furiously showing DMs to Steven. No. <laughs> okay. Because I don't know if you're going to get, want to click on random shit. I want to go over this. I think the Dan Hall stuff is interesting. Is John Find who's me. like a saw? Yeah, that's the, that's probably the meth if I had to guess. D Destiny's not a well man. Destiny is a deeply, a, a deeply unwholesome ugly creature just on a visceral spiritual level like if you condensed every every embarrassing moment in your life every time that you felt absolute shame into into a a, a physiognomical bone structure it's steven 
Give me a summary. I'll, what I'll, I'll make it number one in the topic list. Okay, fine. Tell August to research for it. We'll do the Xander okay. shit. And Demon Mama and all of them are involved. Really? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. They're all yeah, involved. So yeah, Steven. Right yeah. With the EU frogs. Yeah, they're going to be like, mad no. because you're going to skip through all of it on the show. And I'm going to cover it on my I'm fucking not, I'm going to spend so much time. <sighs> I care so much about Xander Hall. I will. I, I will. I know that he went. I saw some screenshots of him losing his mind. You only hold on. Only Norway was lower a minuscule amount. Why wouldn't you compare five year mortality? COVID was a long term issue. Not cherry picked. And Swedish health minister called that stat ahead of time. Uh, no. What? Hold on. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you not compare five years versus two years? Because the lockdowns and everything were only over a short period of time. That's the period of time that you would compare to see if the lockdowns were effective or not at reducing mortality in that time. Of course, if you stretch it out longer and longer and longer, the the differences are going to disappear. But that's because the countries are practicing similar policies. We, but it's it's like it's like it's 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 haunting. It's like, they're practicing different policy. <laughs> like, he's like a, he's like a fucking cruel, he's like a, he's like the, the knife girl in Cruelty Squad. Like, just, just jagged, just, just grotesque, just, ugh. Ugh. Why would I compare the time they were locked down versus other countries that didn't lock down, or the times they weren't locked down? I can hear the Adderall, I can smell it. I can smell it like a, a weird, mildewy scent like when someone has liver failure there's a distinct smell like that must waft in lockdowns, that room like, to figure out if the lockdowns were effective or not well, yeah of course why would i do a five-year mortality sorry um no, no um, why am i apologizing okay what is this why am i apologizing okay what's this dead air why is there dead air Anon, you're banned for one week for spamming the same fucking thing over and over and over and over again in chat. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. Bad interpretation is for the vaccine safety. Wrong by permaban. Anti-vaxxers, please eat shit. Drano and Tide Pods simultaneously. No. When people were comparing the differences between Sweden and Norway, the big comparisons that were being made or for the other Scandinavian countries because Sweden took a much more lax approach to lockdowns than the other surrounding countries. That was the huge difference. Not fucking vac- I got you, Dan. Dan, uh, Dan is not responsible for this. Dan said what, to be clear? Dan could have been a man and actually said something. But Dan did not encourage this, okay? Want it clear, Dan is not responsible for what Destiny does here. Vaccine policy or some other, whatever other invented, contrived bullshit that I cannot wait for you guys to get weeded out of the fucking, please, please, I need the next thing to come along. That's... But he has, that's not possible. He has the icon in chat. True. Hello. Oh, hey, Dan, why don't you fuck my wife? Oh, wait, I don't have one anymore. Do you think Kay Cappuccino is still broke? Or do you think he's doing, like, Uber Eats now? I have no idea. I don't know how much money, realistically, you can raise doing gig work. Unless you're literally, like, min-maxing for it. I'm calling him a greasy cunt at this point and saying I'm going to lawyer up. That's why there's like... <laughs> okay. Clicking this link. Oh my god, this is 54 pages! Yeah, but apparently it's like 7 trillion screenshots. I don't know why. So I already got bored opening it. Oh, they must be talking about the uh, the Xander Hall doc, the uh, the expose on Keffels he was doing. This motherfucker is so boring. He's so boring. It, it's just a critical mass of of, of viewership at this point. It, it is just the vibe. This is where things happen. But he's so boring. He, he has nothing to say. It's the same fucking vaccine debate over and over again. It's the same fucking... It, it never evolves. It never evolves. The only thing that evolves is how many people in his personal life leave him. That's it. It's it's like... It's so, it's so sad. 
Like, I, I, I pity this guy. I'm, I'm disgusted to the point where it's easy to, it's not like a viscerally painful pity. I don't, like, hurt on the inside when I think of him. But fucking hell. What a... This is like a... This guy wished upon a monkey's paw at some point. And just every, everything about him just is, is like, it's like he's, it's like he's Dorian Gray and he's glimpsed the mirror and he's just rotting, but slowly. Exactly, like a large dying bug. True. Sorry, I was I was reading chat. God, I love chat so much. What are we listening for? Nothing. The sweet sound of nothing. <laughs> nothing. That's it. So to review, for those of you who just jumped in, this is this is what followed. This is what the nothing is following. Why is there so much shit going on right now? By the way, also. For what? I don't know. Like, was it Xander Hall thing? And then also President Sunday got his account banned. Is that related to oh, the Oh, Rip Hall Bozo, thing? President Sunday banned on Twitter. A tragedy that he's not banned on YouTube as well. But yes, goodbye, President Sunday. Eat shit, you disgusting, creepy, pedophile loser. No you. Now, that was followed up direct from the horse's mouth. I'll retract it. I'll retract the accusation of you being a pile. If you do a full retraction on every weird attack you've ever made against me and Kyla, and do a full retraction on the accusations I've made, you've made against her career, unquote. I guess I changed the tense of that, but yeah. He will, Destiny will retract that accusation. If he, referring to me, does a full retraction of every kind of weird attack he's ever done against me and Kyla, not so erudite, and does a full retraction on the accusations he's made against her career, unquote. Someone suggested to me that they are definitely fucking as a result of this. I hope for Nick's sake that's not true. That would be terrible for him. But I would still laugh. And by the way, not so Ariadne is a fraud. And she picks her ears on stream and eats the skin flakes. You crossed the line when you made fun of his beard? Oh, it's I like the beard, though. The beard's gotten better now because it's come back, but it's grisly and angular. And it emphasizes... <laughs> Let me show you what Destiny's beard has given to us. I bring I bring to you a gift, dear friends. One of the most beautiful images you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> He looks like he's saluting the flag. Viewers are discussing a boring streamer's stream. Yes, they are. Oh, a streamer's boring stream. So I'm not boring. Good. Sweet. We won in the end. Imagine Melina taking off on a strapping young man like that. Damn shame. Ah. Uh, what a miserable bug.